Hey everyone, today we are prepping for my very first garden party that I am having tomorrow. So I have four friends coming over tomorrow and the plan is to kind of have like afternoon tea type food up here, hang out both inside and outside because obviously this is the floor where the gardens are attached to. So we'll be in and out a lot of the day. My friends are coming over at two. And originally when I planned this, well, a few things. So end of August is when this party is happening. I had this day planned two months ago at least just to make sure all my friends' summer schedules were cleared for it. And I've realized in the future to do this either end of July or early August when the garden is green and lush on its own before the plants start to die for either pest reasons, disease reasons, or unknown reasons in August. So the garden, I mean, it still looks good. I'm harder on it than other people are, but it was definitely a lot easier to look good about a month ago. So that's number one thing I'm changing for next year too. We just found out on Monday of this week, so the party is Saturday, found out on Monday that our streets block party is also the same day. <laughs> so that starts at 11 and it's the first block party that's happened since we moved in here in 2020. We were gone last year actually at the Grand Garden Show. Um, so this is the first time we're gonna kind of meet some of our neighbors that we haven't already met. So it is still important for us to go. Plus it's like, I think it's from like 11 to eight, just completely full of fun events. So the reason I'm doing prep now is because I was planning to do everything like tomorrow before two but now that we're gonna be kind of in and out at the block party, I wanna get everything that I can set up, set up now. Um, anything to do with like food and beverage, obviously I will do that tomorrow, but I wanna get the entire space kind of cleaned up, uh, decorated, set up how I want so that tomorrow is really easy. Also on the topic of food. So I am a person who does enjoy to bake and cook, but I don't, enjoy it as much when it's in preparation for like an event with people because I feel like that just adds a lot of stress and can add even like another whole day of preparing everything. Not that we're having like a ton of food, but what I like to do in these situations and don't feel bad about doing this is go to the grocery store and get pre-made things that look pretty, put them on pretty plates. I'm gonna decorate some of the things I got with edible flowers. So that way it just takes a little bit of that stress away. And also when it comes to cost, I used to think that I would save a lot of money kind of getting all the ingredients and making it myself, but it's actually not that much of a difference. And some things would take even more money to get all the ingredients for. Like for example, um, I got a custard tart. Like me getting all the stuff I would need for that would cost more than the tart cost itself if that makes sense. So all of the food that I will show you tomorrow is not made by me, but if there are flowers put on it, those were put on it by me. And that's how I like to have guests over. And for me, that makes a good balance of, I'm not so stressed out in the preparation that I'm kind of stressed out during the event. Different for holidays and things like that where like home cooked food is kind of more of the main part of it. But the main part of this party is going to be enjoying the garden. Um, I think I'm gonna decorate obviously with flowers. I wanna give my friends, well actually, let me take you around first and show you what I'm gonna do before I start telling you everything. I hope the lighting here is bright enough. It's kind of gray outside today and obviously city living, we don't have side windows. I do have all the lights on and like a separate light set up in here. So hopefully it looks good. Let me know about lighting quality down below. But this is the main table where I think we're gonna have all of the food, which means I need to get these string of hearts moved somewhere else. Uh, these plants move somewhere else. And then in just a few videos ago, these are the lanterns I made. I did end up adding some more flowers on the other side. I wish I had more smaller flowers. So that's something I'm going to try to do. Well, I don't have much time left this year, but get more smaller flowers pressed so that I could put them in between because all of them were kind of about the same size. But my plan is to give my friends at least one lantern, if not two. I've also picked some flowers. I'm gonna pick some more flowers too. I was kind of going back and forth between do I let them kind of pick their own bouquets versus making some for them. And I think with four other people kind of going through the garden and probably not really sure what they can and can't pick, I figured I would just make some bouquets, mini bouquets, put them on the table, and then people can also go home with that as well. And I also might make some giveaway bouquets for the front door today too. I made some right before we got like the 100 degree weather and it was too hot to put them out. No one was walking by. So 
they kind of languished a little bit. So I might make some more because it's been a few days since I've put some out. So step number one is going to be clearing off this table and then kind of setting it up in preparation for bringing the food up here tomorrow. This table is technically a kitchen island, so it's standing height or like bar height. I do have stools here, but my plan is not to actually eat here. Um, my plan would either be to eat out in the garden, because I think it's supposed to be 70s, which is nice, or kind of eat over here, which means I'm also going to clear off these two tables and like maybe just kind of sit here and be a little bit more cozy. Um, I also have another like small table I'm gonna move in here. There's a side table right over here that I got from an antique store. And again, antique store doesn't mean expensive. This table on the right, much cheaper than this table on the left. Antique store, I think it looks a lot prettier. It's a lot like heavier and better quality. This is from Wayfair and is lightweight and kind of topples over. So check out their stores for some good quality, not expensive furniture. So let's go ahead now. I'm going to get the table cleaned off. I think I'm gonna do string of hearts first. These, I'm probably gonna move into my office on the shelves where the Domplina is drawing. It's times like these where I think to myself, do I have too many house plants? But that's not gonna actually change the amount of house plants I have. It'll still probably increase. Do you think I can carry three at once without dropping them? Maybe. Carefully. All right, I'm gonna find a place for this fern. I actually wouldn't mind like leaving these two plants here like normal but there won't be enough room for all the food. Plus this fern likes to drop leaves and I don't want that falling into the food. So where can I put you? Hmm. Um, this one, I'm gonna move for now because I need to get the whole table cleared off, but this might go back on the table because I do want to decorate like with flowers and maybe some of my house plants. But for now, oh, you're cute, beautiful. Oh, I like that. I'll show you where I move everything once I get it all off. And then for now, I'll move some of these out of the way. table is cleared off and cleaned. If you don't have a handheld vacuum and you have a lot of plants, I highly recommend it because I always get like little pieces falling off and a handheld is much nicer than having to get out like a whole vacuum. Anyway, now I have a table runner that I got from Amazon in one of these cabinets, I think. Oh, I forgot. Okay. Yes. Also, this is where I store all of my kind of I guess garden related dishes and cups. So let's lay this out. I don't know if this looks too small for the table, but actually I kind of like this size for it. I don't want it to get too much room. It's just like a natural toned table runner. That way, like if I got a certain like floral print or something like that, then I would kind of be stuck with that print for everything. This actually goes with everything, and I can layer different things. Maybe I should have slightly longer, but I still think that's fine. I wonder if they had longer than this. I don't know if they did. Okay, anyway, let's chit chat and we're actually doing things. So I think, kind of for the center, I do want to have a vase. I have a lot of vases and things that I love but they don't all necessarily go together, but I also don't mind that look. I kind of like mismatched things, but obviously I know that there can be too much of a mismatch and sometimes then it doesn't look as great. So I think this one will be good because I can get a large bouquet in here. Oh, I do like these, but I think these are just gonna stay up here. Oh, and then I need Oh, smaller jars too. 
maybe plates up here first. I don't know, I'm trying to figure this all out. Let me show you kind of the dishes I'm working with. So I think everything except for the plate for this on the left is from an antique store. And like I said, I like mismatched things. So for these glasses, I just kind of grabbed two at most of ones that I like, even if there's more there, because I don't really want like a set of 10. And I don't mind like drinking a drink out of a glass it's not intended for, like wine out of a glass it's not meant for wine. Up to me, a glass is a glass. So these are the ones that I'm going to use for the party. I think beverages will be downstairs so that people can grab them. I'm gonna make lavender lemonade and iced tea. We'll have some wine and then people can get their drinks and bring it up. But then if they wanna refill, it's the problem of city living when places are tall and narrow. Cause if you wanna refill, then you have to go back down. I don't know, maybe I'll figure that out tomorrow, but all the food will be up here. So then in terms of dishes, this is what I have. I have four of these purple floral. I have, I think, six of these pink floral, but I think these are more like dessert size, not like meal sized. Um, this is a serving dish that I got. And then this, this is my favorite. And I really like the color pattern on this, but again, it doesn't really go with like anything else, but does that matter? I don't know. So this is actually my mom's china. I don't know if it was specifically like her wedding china, um, or just the china that she and my dad had, but I feel very lucky that I also love it. Like, first of all, it's floral. Second of all, I love the colors. It kind of gives me a 70s vibe, which maybe that's when they got it. Uh, also, I feel like my zinnia colors, like the purples, reds, peaches will go with this. And this is what I have the most of. So this is what I think most of the food's going to be placed on. Um, and I don't know, yeah, if I want people to use like these dishes with it, but... I really love those. Those are really pretty. So that's kind of what I'm working with. I just brought one up because I'm gonna plate the food all downstairs tomorrow and then make however many trips up that it takes. But I'm trying to get an idea because I think I'll have the food like kind of crisscrossed along this area. So maybe I'll put down all the candles and make some bouquets and see what this looks like. So for me, when I am decorating anything, I like putting together these shelves. I like to start with larger items first, but since that'll be the food on the plates and that's not until tomorrow, I'm just gonna get an idea of where I'll want to place these. Maybe I'll also do the smaller bouquets now too, and that'll kind of give me direction for the large bouquet if I do want to use this vase versus others. Before I make the bouquets, I saw something online that I really liked where someone was having a garden party and they had the dishes and the silverware in a picnic basket. I don't have a picnic basket, uh, but I do have a harvest basket. So I think I'm gonna use this and line it with either this towel covered in plants or this towel, which I just realized at some point I got bleach on. That's okay, I think I'll probably go with this green one because I think that'll look kind of cute in there. And obviously this isn't big enough to put the plates in, um, but I can lay the silverware in it. And I think that will look really nice. So that'll go down at that end with the plates. Obviously I'm gonna be moving a lot of this stuff around. Uh, next, let's do some mini bouquets. These are the flowers that I'm working with, and yeah, I do think probably mostly because of the red. That kind of goes with that vibe, which doesn't necessarily go with the pastel, but it's also kind of how my garden is set up. Like the front is all the bright colors and the back is all the pastels. So I always get an interesting mix. I have five mini bouquets here. I think I'm just gonna start going for it and seeing where it takes me and when I feel like I am done. So these are the bouquets I made. I just jumped ahead because we already have a whole video making mini bouquets together. So I have five now, two in these taller jars, three in the smaller jars. And I think I did a good job of kind of making them a little bit more like fun and weird um, than maybe more like whimsical and soft. I don't know still what I'm gonna do in that 
larger vase in the middle, but I also think I'm just gonna put all the decor on the runner and then the food will sit out here in front. So I'm gonna start kind of trying to position things. Obviously, tomorrow I will move more things around once everything is up here. I'm going to start on this big vase next for the centerpiece. I forgot that at the grocery store, I also got some filler flour, which I know is gonna make a mess, but that's what the handheld vacuum is for. So I'm gonna start putting some in there first, and then I don't have anything else harvested, so I'm just gonna kind of pop in and out into the garden and grab stuff, which I think is kind of fun when you don't really like know where you're gonna go. So you just go into the garden and see where it takes you. Is that gonna be too big or maybe will I like it that big and dramatic? I'll start bigger because then I can always trim the stems if I need to. Also, when I'm in the garden, I'm gonna make sure to do a really good job of not bringing in bugs, except there's going to be food right around all of this. All right, so I'm just gonna pop in and out and grab whatever flowers I think will look nice and kind of build it from there and see how it goes. And then I don't know if there's really much else to do other than I have to like pick up some debris in the garden, but I'm really excited for tomorrow. Here's the main bouquet. I might add some more maybe tomorrow, but I think I'm at a good stopping point for right now. So this is what the table layout is looking like. I might sprinkle some dried flowers around too. I have in the jars on that top left shelf of my cabinets, there are some dried straw flowers and I think that would be pretty along the runner. But again, I think I'm gonna wait till tomorrow when I have kind of the plates of food up here to sprinkle that around. And I will definitely show you all of that. So I think I'm good for today as far as what I need to do. And then I'm not gonna end this video here because I'll show you tomorrow what everything looks like. I don't think I'm gonna record any of the actual party just for privacy of my friends and to hang out with them. But I will see you tomorrow when I have everything moved up and kind of set up and I'll show you what it all looks like. It's garden party day and also our block party day. So I think it's around 11 right now. My friends will be here around two. Block party starts I think at 11.30. So I think we're gonna be kind of in and out until my friends get here. But I figured I'd show you a little bit of how the garden looks right now. I don't know if there's much different about up here since yesterday because the food I'm not gonna bring up until like right before everyone gets here, but I'll try to remember to grab some videos of that so you can see what it looks like. Again, not food made by me, but food with flowers added on it by me. Um, so I'll show you what this looks like. We'll go out to the garden and then I'll just see where the day takes us. I'm pretty sure all the flowers and candles were here. I don't think the dried flowers were here. So these are straw flowers and rose petals from last year. They're normally the jars up there on the top left shelf. And I think this looks really nice. I'll just put them back in the jars once the party is over. And then over here, I have the plates set out. I have some like pretty cloth napkins, some regular paper napkins. And then I have my basket of silverware. Um, and then some spoons for serving. I probably need to grab more of those. That's gonna be the fun part, is trying to get everything that I need up here so we don't have to make too many trips up and down. I also forgot if this was here, but I just moved one of my stools over as a side table for drinks because I don't really have a ton of table space up here. Um, another thing I wanted to do with these is because I probably, I have two, I will probably only be using one most of the time is in the winter, use it as a plant stand. So a few ways to repurpose stools around your house. I'll take you out to the gardens now. This is kind of the perfect weather for a garden party because it's like mid 70s, I think, if not low 70s, it's overcast, which is nice. So we don't have to kind of pop in and out whenever the shade or the cloud cover is available. Um, so I'll show you the garden out here. This is the front deck. 
uh, which faces the block party. And I don't think we'll be spending too much time out here because there's not a ton of seating area. Also, I think I mentioned yesterday, should have had a garden party end of July, early August uh, before things started to fall apart and die. But I know my friends will still think it looks really nice. So here's what the front garden looks like and September garden tours are coming up soon. So I'll go more in depth of how everything looks then. So here's the front deck, very, very full. This garden is definitely more full than the back. Uh, the zinnias are probably the worst just because of all the powdery mildew. I did prune pretty heavily. There's a small cage, like plant cage there to hold some of these up. We have the dahlias over here. Another dahlia opening up finally. The first bloom on this one, which now looking at it, I don't think was Penhill watermelon. Um, but yeah, this is the front deck. So I'll probably walk people through it, but not actually hanging out here. And then that's really the only seating area is that one table, but you'll notice the chairs are gone. Out to the back deck where we will be hanging out the most. And I do plan to leave these doors open just to make it more of an easy in and out experience. But this is where I moved the two chairs on the front deck because there's gonna be five of us total which is perfect for the amount of seating that I have. Oh, that dahlia is crooked. I'm gonna go support that back up. And I just propped the dahlia back up with some pots. Uh, I think it's getting a little bit too top heavy. So maybe I need larger cages for it next year. But all the other ones are doing great. So yeah, this is what this area looks like. So it's now about 30 minutes before my friends get here. We went outside to the block party for a little bit. There was a giant dancing panda. Uh, there's definitely a lot of kids activities down there right now. But yeah, I think the block party is going to like 11 <laughs> at night. Um, so we'll probably head back out there after my friends leave. But I wanted to show you kind of the setup. Most of the refrigerated items I'm not gonna bring up until everyone is here and ready to eat, but I'll give you an idea of kind of the layout. And then I'm hoping Everything works out up here. We don't have to go up and down the stairs too many times. Here's what we are looking like. I already brought up, again, anything that doesn't have to be refrigerated and just wrapped it in saran wrap so I can take that off. So desserts there. These will be kind of all the mixes for the sandwiches, the bread over there. And then this over here is the little station with plates, napkins, and silverware. So yeah, I mean, this has been a pretty easy setup. It's very easy when you purchase food already prepared because that definitely takes up the majority of the time in preparation for events like this. But I'm really excited. I'm gonna light the candles too when everyone's here, probably put on some music. So after this, I don't know again how much I'm really gonna take video because I'll be hanging out with my friends. Uh, maybe I'll take some down of the block party later of the band and stuff that's playing, but that's basically, I think, going to be it in terms of preparation for the garden party. So either I will say goodbye to you right now and I'll see you in the next video, or I will put something else after here if I take some more video. So thank you so much for watching and I'll either see you in the next video or in the next clip.